One of the most anticipated astronomical events is the Balge supernova, located on the famous shoulder of Orion. Balge is a red supergiant star nearing the conclusion of its life. Strangely, in 2019, Balge, one of the brightest stars in the sky, began to fade. The fading was so noticeable that it could be seen even without special optics. For a few months, Balge dimmed until observers began to wonder if the star had died. When scientists focused their most powerful telescopes on the red giant star, they were shocked to see evidence of the great dimming. Even though the star's brightness had returned to normal after a few months, this star is about to blow up as its life cycle comes to an end. When and why might a supernova happen? And will it have disastrous consequences for Earth? Let's look into it. The brilliant, Ruber Red Star Balge is located in the upper right shoulder of the winter constellation Orion, the Hunter. You may know it better by its alternative name, Alpha Orionis. But it is the second brightest star in the constellation, directly behind the blue supergiant Real. Balge is an interesting target for astronomers to observe and study because of its variable behavior and peculiar name. Alpha stars are usually the brightest in their constellation, and this is true even though Real, Orion's other great star, is brighter. Due to its name, brightness, size, and reddish color, Balge, also known as Alpha Orionis, is one of the most famous stars in the sky. It is the tenth brightest star in the sky and the seventh brightest star visible for most of North America, Europe, and Canada. Balge comes from an Arabic word that means the armpit of the giant, which is a frequent interpretation of the name. Balge's actual distance from Earth is unknown. However, scientists believe it to be anywhere from 430 to 720 for light years. To put it simply, Balge is the brightest and closest red supergiant star to Earth. There are just about 200 red giant superstars known to exist in the Milky Way. Balge is 16 times the size of the Sun, emits 126, zero times as much light as the Sun, and is visible from a distance of 548 light-years. It is cooler than the Sun, with a surface temperature of 3,600 Kelvin. Around Balge, just about 133% of its total radiant energy is made up of visible light. Balge would be more luminous than Sirius if we could perceive light at all wavelengths. It is estimated that Balge is around 764 times the Sun's radius in diameter. If this star were to take over as the Sun of our solar system, its influence would extend past Jupiter and the asteroids. This would result in the complete engulfment of Earth, Mars, Mercury, and Venus. Balge, a red star, loses about one solar mass every 10. Zero years as material is ejected unevenly from the star in all directions, resulting in a nebula surrounding the red star. The nebula surrounding Balch is roughly 30 astronomical units, or 30 times the distance between the Sun and Earth, and is 250 times larger than the star itself. T and light are two forms of energy that are often released in abundance during the fusion process, this vitality makes its way to the surface of the star, where it is eventually discharged as a photon into the cosmos. Eventually, the star will run out of its primary fuel, hydrogen, and will have to rely on helium and carbon for combustion. When all the helium has been consumed, neon will react with carbon to produce iron. When this occurs, the energy released by the fusion of neon and iron is absorbed. As iron begins to burn within the star, its high gravity causes it to collapse in on itself, triggering a supernova explosion powering 10 billion suns. A supernova is one of nature's most powerful explosions. Depending on their age and evolutionary stage, stars emit light of varying wavelengths and temperatures, resulting in a spectrum of colors from the blue of the youngest stars to the red of the oldest. According to TMI, a Greek scholar who lived from 90 to 160 AD, Balge's color was oddly described as rudness. However, ancient Chinese astronomers noted that Balge appeared yellow, suggesting that it may have been a yellow supergiant in the past. Larger stars often burn through their hydrogen fuel more quickly, leading to their eventual demise, even if they are just roughly 10 million years old. 
Unquestionably, Balj is in its latter stages of existence. However, at over 5 billion years old, our sun is still going strong. The star Baljus is nearing the end of its existence, which means it may go supernova at some point. However, the exact timing of this occurrence is hotly contested. There are two cycles of dimming and brightening that occur on Baljus, the second of which occurs every five years and lasts for about 100 days. There's an assumption that the star's outer shell expands and contracts over this cycle, causing the star's diameter and average temperature to change at each stage. A lot of people pay attention to Baljus because of its erratic dimming in 2019 and 2020, followed by a temporary recovery to its usual brilliance. Some astronomers have speculated that it could mean the star is dying. Extensive study of Baljus dates back to the 1st century BC. Nonetheless, the cause of its sudden and atypical waning remains unknown. Baljus was detected speeding across the interstellar medium at a rate of 30 kilometers per second after being ejected from its home in the Orion O1 association, which contains the stars in Orion's belt. The boat shock from the speeding star spans over for light years across. Distances to read supergiant stars like Baljus are notoriously difficult to calculate in astronomy. Many factors make it hard to determine Baljus's real diameter. The star of Baljus changes over time since it's a pulsating star. As a result of limb darkening, the star's visual emissions change color and fade away as one moves away from its center. When trying to define Baljus's photosphere, it's important to account for the circumstellar envelope, which is made up of material emitted from the star and both emits and absorbs light. It's tricky to make direct comparisons between observations due to the star's apparent size changing with wavelength. Finally, Baljus's dimming has halted, and it may once again become the tenth brightest star in the night sky. Baljus, despite its great distance, is one of the brightest stars in the sky shining at almost 100,000 times the brightness of the sun. Keeping up with Baljus's enormous energy demands requires rapid fuel combustion, which hastens the star's destruction. When the star runs out of fuel and collapses under its own weight, it will explode into a spectacular supernova. Then, for a period of several weeks to months, Baljus will become extremely bright, perhaps approaching full moon levels, it will even be visible during the day. If so, when can we expect it? We probably won't see that happen in our lifetimes, but nobody knows for sure. It may happen tomorrow, or it could happen a million years from now. Will Earth be destroyed by the Baljus supernova? Since Baljus is so far away from Earth, its explosion won't kill or even severely disrupt life here. According to astronomers, the safest distance from a supernova for human life is 50 light years, making Baljus over 10 times more distant. Instead, everyone on Earth will get a show when a very bright star suddenly appears in the sky. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more. We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you on another incredible space adventure.